Look at my feet right now. That's so much energy. Look at your wife. Look at my feet. <laughs> why am I why am I sitting like this? You tell me. Ooh, fall. Every day. Neutral. Glam. <laughs> So that is what we're gonna be doing today. Um, I honestly love this makeup look so much because it truly, truly, truly is something you could wear every day for my glam girls and guys out there who wanna look, you know, a little, a little, a little more glam than you know your average, your average gel out there. Um, but I love this look. I feel like it's such a pretty neutral fall look. The lip is gonna be super interchangeable. You could do a vampy lip, you could do a nude lip. I went with this like kind of just like fall vibes glossy lip. Um, and of course, I'm gonna be using my my Sigma Times Rock Set collab that I worked on with Sigma Beauty this, or not even this year, the last couple years, but it just launched this week, which I am so excited about. So I'm gonna be showing you guys obviously how I use them, um, all of the brushes in our collab in this tutorial, and how I use them to achieve my everyday makeup look. All right, so we're gonna start off with a little primer cocktail that I've been loving lately. Um, especially, like, I, mean, I feel like I keep reiterating how dry my skin is, but you know, with the colder weather, the dryness everywhere, we gotta get a little more moisture, but we still wanna keep the T-zone matte, unlike it is currently on my face. Um, so what I've been using is the first Solly Rose Gold Elixir, which is kind of like an OG, and then Maybelline Master Blur Stick for in the middle of the face. Oh, oh no, 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 I got some on my shirt, it's okay. Just put that on the outer corner and then at the top of the face. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, I also uh, I already went in with like my primer steps or prep steps, I guess you could say. Um, and I just wanted to quickly mention them because I've really, really been loving these products. So I started off with the, um, no, I didn't start off with that. So I start off with this guy, which is the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. If you have dry skin, like, you kind of need this, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and then I went over that with the Murad Hydration Perfecting Day Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30 um, because it has SPF, but it is a really nice moisturizing day cream. So I already did those before I started, and then I obviously went in with eye cream as well. Um, and then, no, I'm using that pore stick all over the center of the face. Boom. <laughs> Anyways, skin is smooth, skin is hydrated, skin is <clears throat> on point. Um, so now we're gonna move to the brows. And surprise, surprise, my brow routine, I've actually been doing powders on an everyday basis, which I've really been liking. Um, the lady who does my brows, she's amazing, you guys. If you live in LA, you have to check her out. Lily Maldonado Brows. She is so bomb, you guys. I've been using, I've been going to her for like, probably a good three or four years, I would say. But yeah, she is amazing, you guys. Like, honestly. But I'm just going in and shaping my brows real quick. And what I've been using is actually the Sigma Medium Color and Shape Brow Powder Duo. All right, honestly, powder brows are in. Enough said, enough said. Um, so I'm just gonna go in and um, clean up the edges. I usually like to do my brows like a little bit thicker because I feel like I can really get the shape. Then I'll go in with this RCMA foundation palette and I take like kind of just a mix of these two shades. You don't really have to be that exact, but you know, I'm professional. But yeah, I'll just take this and kind of clean up the edges so that it looks nice and precise. I love this step. I feel like the carving is what makes the brow. So I'm also using the Sigma Flat Definer E15 for this step. Oh. I just, don't you love that little, that's how I feel whenever I carve out my brows. I'll, I'll usually just take some concealer to brush my lids to really cancel out the discoloration. I could do this makeup look in like 20 minutes. That's pretty fast for like an everyday kind of glam look. That is pretty fast. I think maybe like 25, 20 to 25 minutes for this whole look. Why are you laughing at me? You don't believe me? I'm not 
know. I know you're laughing at me because you don't believe me. All right, so for the eyeshadow, bum bum bum, artist couture, midnight payment. Anyways, I'm actually really excited to use this. Um, I always go for very neutral shadows when I'm doing my everyday look. So I thought I would use the neutral shadows that are in the Midnight Maven palette today. Um, obviously there's such beautiful bold shades, but for like my everyday glam, I always, always, always go for really nice warm neutrals like these ones that are in the palette. So I thought I would just use this. Of course, I'm also gonna be using my brush set that I came out with with Sigma Beauty. Um, so if you missed my last video, we have a bronzer brush, a highlight brush, we have two eyeshadow brushes, and then a wing liner brush. Um, basically just all my favorites, and this brush I custom created from scratch. And these handles, you guys, I feel like the handles are one of my favorite part of this whole set. Um, I obviously wanted to make it super cohesive, so all of them have these hand-painted, hand-painted, yes, hand-painted, isn't that insane? Rose gold to black ombre handles. <laughs> isn't it cute? Is it not the cutest thing ever? Like these handles. But anyways, thank you guys already so, so much for all the love on the collab so far. Um, everybody who's been DMing me like pictures of you guys purchasing and I cannot wait, I literally cannot wait for you guys to start receiving them and using them and I just know you're gonna love, love, love these so much. Um, Cause I truly did like just put so much detail into, or so much thought into every single detail of the brushes. Um, and I didn't mention this in my other video when I was revealing it. If you want like the full reveal, you can watch my last video, but I didn't mention this, but this is actually the first ever brush set to have this patented technology of like a double threading inside of the ferrule so that it will never, ever, ever fall apart, which I think is insane, um, but it's the first time that it's been in like a set like this. So anyways, we're gonna get into using this. I don't know why I'm holding the bronzer brush, probably because it's my little baby, but um, I'm gonna start off obviously with the E40. Tea for blending. We're gonna go into frisky. A little frisky up in here. And I'm gonna start just placing that right here into the crease. Such a nice warm tone. Anything warm is so good for like an everyday look just because it's so, so easy to work with, so easy to use. We're just gonna buff out that shape. Okay, blends. Okay. And then what I'm actually gonna do, so this is the E54 medium sweeper from my set. And this is the like main use I would say is for an all over shade for the lid. But for my everyday looks, I actually leave the lid kind of blank. If I really wanna spice it up, I'll throw a bronzy shade on the lid. But I thought I would show you guys that it is a pretty versatile, like I wanna show you guys like, you know, all the w different ways that you can be able to use it. So we're actually gonna use this to uplift this outer corner, which you guys know, I always put a dark shade right here to blend that out and just give my eye a little bit more of like an uplifted, kind of like Bella Hadid look. <sighs> so what I do is I take the top of the brush and really deposit that color right onto the outer corner, smoke it out. And then you can use the flat side once you don't have as much product on to really blend it up into the shade that we put on before. And do you see how that just, it just starts to melt together, but it starts to shape the eye really nicely? That is exactamundo what we want to see here. I feel like a lot of eyeshadow is all about blending and layering shades on top of other shades. Like that makes a huge, huge, huge difference in the way your eye makeup comes out is just continuing to blend and then layer and blend and layer. Once I have not much left on the brush, I'm actually gonna take it and just place a little bit in this motion right here on the outer V. But again, this is when there's not really too much left on my brush, so we can just get a little bit of definition up there. And then with the same brush, I'm gonna take, wait, did I say that I was using this earlier? I don't even remember, but I used the shade Rebel to smoke out the outer corner and it looks fire with a capital F. So I'm now gonna take the shade Quicker. And do you like how every shade name, I just like really have to go on a tangent and like make it my own somehow. I don't know why I do that, but I don't know. So I'm just gonna take that and pat that into this inner corner. Blend everything together. 
Ooh. Ooh, look at the blend. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Sigma Times Rock Set E6 Winged Liner Brush, and I'm gonna go into my gel liner here. Wicked Gel Liner. I'm just gonna make the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little wing right on the outer corner so we can, again, just define the eyes a little bit more. And even on my everyday makeup days, I do like to do just a little teeny baby wing. Like, I like to call it a baby wing because it's it's really not even like a full wing liner and it's not as intimidating either. So, I love this brush because obviously it is so tiny and so precise so we can really get those baby wings going. Baby, baby, baby. Start right from the outer corner. Since I'm just doing a little baby one, I don't even go as far out. And you wanna connect that right to the middle of the eye. You do not wanna go all the way in because that obviously then becomes a lot more time consuming and a lot harder. Anyway, I don't really know what happened to this guy. It just kinda like, it plopped off at the end. It didn't really make a baby wing that I wanted. So what you can do is then go back in and almost just drag the liner brush out. The reason why I initially loved this shape of brush is because I felt like it could just do the work for me. So if you just drag it out, it almost creates that nice sharp tip. I love it because since we don't have to go all the way in, if it's like a little off, it's okay. So if you're running late to school, to work, to brunch, to wherever you're going for your little everyday glam, these wings make it kind of easy because it does give you the nice shaping to your eyes without the work, without all having to go up in here, up in that little area that always gets tricky and then you're always like, wait, it needs to be longer, wait, it needs to be thicker, wait, it needs to be this, wait, it needs to be that, 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 that. then you can just stick with the outer corners like I do. So for lashes, obviously you don't have to wear lashes if that's not your jam for like, you know, more of like an everyday kind of look. For me it is, like there was a time where I would do like full glam lashes. I really have been loving um, just cutting up lashes though. So these ones are the Ardell Foam Ink 814 lashes and I'll show you guys how small they are now. Um, I actually cut these off, like I cut the outer edge off completely and use that to layer onto a pair of Ardell Wispies and that is such a pretty style too. But today I just thought I would go with just the 814s um, because they're really pretty and they're nice and winged out like I like. I always love lashes that have that nice like fluttery shape to the end, just kind of going with the whole theme, I guess you could say, like through my whole tutorials, I always focus on the outer edge because I feel like it uplifts the eye area. I always go in with a coat of mascara before my falsies just so that my natural lashes can have some lift. But again, if you just want to do a super natch snatch, you can just leave it like this. But I am a falsies kind of girl, so I always go in with a Slight little pair of lashes. And this is this is like a very natural style, okay? Because I literally cut off like half of the end. So I'm just gonna go in and place it right on the outer corner. And you wanna push it up with your finger so it stays lifted. See how that just adds like a little teeny, 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 tiny extra bit of volume on that outer corner. Like this is the kind of look like if you want to fool somebody and if you don't want them to know that you're wearing false lashes, like this is perfect because they're never gonna know. Like it's just kind of like there. You know, it's just kind of like a little, a little ding. And if you want just a little bit more volume to the false lashes, you can actually go over them with mascara. The only con to this is that it kind of shortens the life of the lashes, but I feel like they look bomb. Like it looks like this could be my natural lashes. Like, are those your natural lashes, girl? And then me, yeah, of course. Look how bomb that looks. Like, I just feel like that last step to the mascara really makes it all melt together and it makes it look like it's legit your real lashes. Um, also, it kind of just further adheres your natural lashes to the false lashes so that they are not going anywhere. Um, but the last step, I just, the only thing that I don't like about these lashes is that on the band, there's like a clear layer and it's just, it just kind of messes up my vibe. Like I would much rather have 
a black layer because then it just kind of melts in with the lashes. This just kind of like, do you see those clear dots? This is the only thing I don't like. <laughs> but we're just gonna cover that with a little bit more of the gel liner and luckily we have that super thin E6 wing liner brush so we can just get right onto that. All right, so for my foundation, I'm gonna go in with this CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. I've actually really been liking this foundation for more of like a matte, full coverage foundation. It's really nice coverage. I, mean, I don't know, I just feel like it makes my skin look Okay, so now for concealer, um, I have a little bit of a new routine. So I actually watched Jackie's routine and she was using the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer, which is like a super, super, super full coverage concealer. And it, she almost used it to like correct first while getting the coverage and then go over that with a like highlighting concealer. So we're gonna like start to do that here on my canal. Um, so I'm gonna use the shade SX13 to begin with, which is gonna look pretty dark for me right now, but it's actually just gonna cancel out all this purpleness under here. And then I'm just gonna go in and kind of press it into the skin with this brush to really get that maximum, maximum coverage. So this is the Sigma Concealer Blend Kabuki. And then what I'm gonna do is take the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and this is the shade tan sand and I'm gonna apply that lower and this is again another full coverage concealer but we're just gonna go a little lower this time Ow. And do you see how that's just starting to really cover those under eye divots that is exactly what we want because this like dude honestly when I saw her do this I was just like Wow, it looks bomb. All right, and then I just took a little bit more of the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. Whew, that name is kind of hard for me to remember, but I took a little bit more in a brighter shade. This is the shade seven, right underneath the eyes. And I feel like that layering technique really, really helps. And I know it's kind of a lot for like every day if you are, you know, just in a hurry, but I do feel like kind of self-conscious about my under eyes because they're always so dark and like divoted. And blah, blah, blah. so I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it's worth it for me to like try to do these extra steps to kind of get like, to take care of them a little bit more. And I really feel like it does, like that, the layering technique with those specific shades. Um, and obviously you should watch Jackie's tutorial for more a more in-depth ex explanation because she did a really, really good job at explaining why she uses the shade she does and why, just like the process behind the layering. So definitely check that out. All right, this is one of my favorite steps, liquid blush. Um, so this one's from M Cosmetics and it's called Soft Amethyst. So, oh my gosh, I almost spilled it and it almost spilled everywhere, but I caught it. It's a really pretty fall shade. Oh, ugh, I love liquid blush. I love liquid blush. I feel like it looks so cute. And then for baking, I'm actually gonna use this CoverGirl loose powder. I'm just gonna really press that into the skin. As we let that sit, I'm gonna go ahead and use my secret little weapon here. Whoa, I should not, should not be doing that. Um, but this is my F27 Iconic Bronze, my bronzer brush that I created from scratch. Every little detail on this brush, I just wanted to make it perfect for both contouring, like sculpting the face and bronzing it out. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. Um, so I'm gonna take this shade from the Sigma Sculpt Palette throw shade and we're gonna go right in and you almost wanna use the brush right at the tip of the brush to like contour it out to really sculpt the cheeks. So you wanna take it and drag back the contour, always blending upwards right with this taper. See the shape of this? I designed this taper so that you could do that, so that you could get that sculpted look. And then later we're gonna show you how to blend it out. Um, and also I wanted to design the, the actual bristles, the type of bristles, to be less prone to picking up like the foundation off your skin because that was something I always, always, always struggled with. 
was like the foundation kind of getting um, patchy almost like when I started to apply my bronzer and cheek products. I went ahead and wiped away all that like under eye powder and everything. My under eyes are closer. So then next I'm just gonna take my bronzer on the same F27 Iconic Bronze, obviously. And we're gonna start to buff everything out. So we already have that contour down, so now we're warming up the face. Really wanna take like buffing motions and then take the size of the brush to soften everything. Ugh, it looks so good. It honestly looks so bomb. Like you have to admit, I'm gonna be I'm just gonna say we did this. We did this and I cannot wait for you guys to start getting your packages and um, start like receiving the brushes if you went ahead and ordered them because I think you guys are gonna die over this iconic bronze. Like all of them are obviously such staple brushes for me but this is my, my, my Simba, my baby, my Lion King. And then I'm just gonna go in with some blush. So I'm gonna use Sigma Corderosa. And I'm just gonna take that on the same brush. All right, now for my other secret weapon, I'm obsessed with this highlighter right now. Um, it's called the Elsie Cosmetics Eclipse Highlighter in the shade Soul. And I'm using it on my F42 Strobing Fan. Best highlight brush of life itself. But I love it because you just go straight onto the high points. Oh, it looks so bomb. Okay, and then just blend it out. It's like the perfect size. All right, so for, we're gonna move to lips now. So I actually keep my lip really simple for just every day because it's something that I can just throw on. So I start off with the NYX lip pencil in New Truffle. Bomb, bomb formula. I also really like MAC Strip Down mixed with MAC Cork. Um, that's just a similar vibe, but I wanted to give you guys an affordable option too. I kind of do, I go like between those three options, but I wanted to give you an affordable one today because you guys have all seen me use the MAC ones before because you know how much I love them. Oh, this color is so good. But it's always sold out. I was actually surprised to find it. And I personally like prefer the just like pencil liners. I don't know what it is. I just like the pencil ones more than the retractable like mechanical ones. I feel like I can get more control. This is like the perfect your lips but better kind of kind of lip liner. But it has a little brown in which is why I think I like it. Because you know what? I always like brown. Brown on the lips. All right, so for lips, I know this looks a little scary, okay, at first, but it's Dose of Colors Hot Cocoa. Such, oh, they smell so good, but it's such a pretty fall lip color, and it never, ever makes my lips feel dry, which is why I still think it's cute for like everyday makeup in the fall, you know? All right, guys, so this is our everyday fall glam. Ooh. I feel like it's so cute. It's just such a cute look. The eyes are super neutral, but it still has that like uplifted kind of look. Still on the natural side, no, you know, like we didn't put that much effort in, even though we did. Um, and of course the lip is super interchangeable. You can go with a matte lip, a cream lipstick, a lip gloss, any color, fall, like vampy shade or a nude. And it will still look really, really pretty with this whole makeup look because the rest of the look is so, so neutral. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, then give me a big thumbs thumbs up and subscribe down below. And don't forget to hit those notifications or turn the notification bell on. I know there's something like you have to turn on all notifications or something if you wanna get all the notifications. Um, so you can totally do that if you would like to see every single video of mine. And again, just thank you so much for all the love on my first ever collab. I just feel like these brushes are gonna make your life so so much easier. Oops, I don't know how this extra E6 got in here. Um, anyways, I hope you guys love this set as much as I do. Um, I just really feel like it's gonna make your makeup game on top, okay? You're gonna be on top of that game. Um, no, truly, I just, I wanted to create a set that it was gonna make it easy for every, everybody to achieve that super flawless blend, whether we're talking about the bronzer, the highlighter, the eyeshadow, and then of course these nice sharp wings. So thank you to Sigma again for working with me on this whole project um, through the last couple of years. And thank you guys for all of the support um, that you guys have been showing this whole week since it launched. Um, and yeah, I love you guys so much. Remember you are beautiful inside and out and see you next time. We're gonna be using... Wow. <laughs> oh.
Why do I feel like this every time I film? Like I get really like giddy. So you always are. Wait, are you being for real? Yes. And then me. We just got to ASMR for some reason. I'm not really sure why. I just started whispering. <laughs> why are you crazy, man? What, what do you mean? See what I mean? What do you mean? I have cut that talent. <laughs>